Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Roy and Betty Sakamoto, Caldwell Banker, formerly Sakamoto Properties. We want to talk a little real estate, bring you up to date on a few things going on in the world or things that we think are important going on in the world. And uh, that's going to be about it. Dr. Esten, Norm Esten from Doctors on Call, is going to check in with us in about 10 minutes and kind of catch us up again on Maui and everything that's going on from testing to uh, vaccines and uh, changes. And yeah, I, I think, think he's talking about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and so forth. But yeah. uh, we'll, we'll get it straight from Norm. Yeah, I think that'll be really yeah. fun to hear again from Dr. Reston. And, and it's an important day today, too. Jackie Robinson Day. Yes, yeah. number 42. I just heard that. And I don't think there could be anybody that's ever heard of baseball or anything that can't remember Jackie Robinson or didn't see the movie about him. What an amazing man, an amazing couple. And he made a difference. He made a difference. And again, the world is going to keep changing, hopefully, and everything he did and people like him will come to fruition and everything yeah, will it's, be Yeah, it's better. hard to imagine what he had to go through, um, all the prejudice. And uh, wow, I mean, it was, I mean, it's heartbreaking to, to even hear about it. It is. You're right. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's heartbreaking. And it goes on and on and on in many, many ways. It's not just Jackie Robinson, obviously. No, it's something no. that continues. And let's all do our best in our own little ways to not only not be prejudiced, but keep ourselves from even thinking prejudice. When, when something comes up, don't, you know, just let's be bigger people. Let's all take care of this problem. And maybe if it starts with I... Uh, all of a sudden, that makes a big difference. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, so many different things today. One of the things we were going to talk a little, a little about. A little philosophy this was, today. We have a little philosophy. <laughs> Charlie Pride. Now, Charlie Pride was a good friend of ours, bought some real estate, he and his wife, Rosine, and recently passed away from the coronavirus. Very sad, awful story. They were high school sweethearts. You just think it never could have happened. Again, older, he's 80 was 80, et cetera. When I first met him, though, it was kind of fun. One of the first things he told me was, I'm Charlie with an E-Y. And it took me a while to understand. He's not Charlie, C-H-A-R-L-I-E. He's Charlie E-Y. And then we discovered something kind of interesting. We both knew this little funny poem of sorts. And I'm going to try to spit it out. I think I did it one other time on here. But it's really interesting because he really was into this also. And it's just I've only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon me, didn't, ref- didn't seek it, didn't choose it, up to me to use it, I must suffer if I lose it, give account if I abuse it, just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. And I think let's all think about that, that a minute can do a lot in different ways in how we think and how we act, and let's all take care of those minutes. Charlie now is gone, and this year there will be, we- we've set up for him for this year, Charlie Pride Memorial Scholarship at Lahaina Luna High School with a plan that it will go to uh, one of the kids who's musically inclined. Doesn't have to necessarily be planning a career in music, but it's going to be through the uh, Lahaina Luna High School Foundation. And we're really excited about doing that. And music is such a huge, integral part of Lahaina Luna. Well, uh, yeah, and Maui and, and Hawaii. And Maui and Hawaii. So, Roy, again, a Luna, Luna for life. Yep. So that's, and again, we're going to do a little bit of real estate. We're going to try to stumble into that for a bit. Norm Esten should be probably, let's say, five minutes from now. Let me see if there's anything no, else that we were know, thinking. People have asked us, um, those, of, those of you out there who know Roy and Betty Sakamoto or have heard of us, uh, a lot of times people have said to us, wow, you guys are lucky. Um, you've lasted a long time, you've done really well, uh, so forth, so forth, you know. And, um, you know, one thing I remember, and I'm not sure, it was somebody famous that said it, and I'm not sure who it was, but the the road to success is always under construction. And um, it's something I remember, ah, going way back. Going way back, yeah. yeah. yeah, But it is a great line. For a long time. Great one. Yeah. And the harder you work, the, the, the luckier you get. So, That's true. That's another one. That even talking with younger realtors, they might often say to us, you guys have gotten so lucky. 
and you know you kind of look and yeah I mean we have been fortunate but again the harder you work the luckier you got there were many Christmases when our kids weren't here they were on the mainland and we'd be at the office all day Christmas all day New Year's and in between because we met a ton of people that way and often those people were kind of lonely too because they didn't have everybody here visiting we were at the time at the Kapalua Bay Hotel office and uh, that was pretty amazing it was it was but and, again, could have stayed home. And I think we have Dr. Norm on. Oh, excellent. Hey there, Norm. Aloha. Hi there. <laughs> we are good. We are good. We did introduce you a little while ago, so you're here and everybody is ready for you. Well, thank you. And good afternoon from the West Side. Uh, I think I'd like to say a couple of words about uh, what's happening with uh, COVID and the vaccine rollout. Uh, as everybody knows, the only way to uh, really get a handle on this and get life back to normal is to uh, get the vaccines rolled out and protect us that way. There's no cure for uh, coronavirus or the disease it causes, which is called COVID. Um, and in the news the last couple of days is uh, one of the uh, three vaccine products that we've been using in this country the Johnson & Johnson uh, formulation, that's also uh, known as the Janssen formulation, because they're the same company, uh, has been put on pause um, because uh, of a very rare complication, uh, less than one in a million, but a potentially significant complication. So the CDC, uh, out of an abundance of caution, wants to put the rollout on pause, not recall the vaccine, but just study it a little bit more, probably a couple of weeks, to decide whether it's totally safe to be used or whether we should define the population groups that uh, this vaccine is good for. So we have two other vaccines, the uh, Pfizer product, which is two shots, and the Moderna product, which is two shots. And they're both out in the market and they've been very, very safe. We've had uh, no significant complications at all. Uh, I personally have monitored about 5,000 vaccinations myself. We haven't had any significant reactions. Uh, and uh, people can get those either through Maui Health or the Department of Health uh, or a number of uh, private groups that are uh, putting these on, uh, such as our clinic and a bunch of other clinics. Uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uh, had a couple of advantages to it. One, it was a little bit less expensive. Two, it was a single dose, so uh, you only had to get one to get protected as opposed to having to come back a month later to get a second one. And three, uh, it could be stored in just a refrigerator, so it didn't have to be frozen. So it was easier to transport and then store and also use in a lot of countries where uh, a freezer might be uh, difficult to get to. So it's, that's uh, out of the mix here for a while. Uh, it should not stop people from getting vaccinated in general, because getting vaccinated is going to be the only way to get our life uh, back to normal for um, three particular reasons. Uh, one is that it's the only way to protect the whole population uh, from outbreaks. There'll still be an occasional case, but we've got to get up to about 85% now of the population getting vaccinated to protect us, especially from the new variants that are coming out from Britain or South Africa or wherever. Um, these variants um, are much more catchy, in other words, communicable and spreadable, although the illness isn't any more serious. You just don't want to catch it um, in general. Uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is um, you probably won't be able to travel or go to group events in a few months unless you can show that you've had some sort of vaccination. So we know that you are not going to be able to travel inner island. You're not going to be able to get on a plane. Uh, you probably won't be able to go to big sporting events in the fall unless you've got some proof of vaccination. And thirdly, uh, that hasn't been really emphasized enough is uh, the data now and the experience of doctors around the whole world is about a third of the people that do get sick have long-term uh, side effects, and they are called long COVID or long haulers. And, and that's about a third of people who do catch coronavirus wind up having either neurological or blood vessel symptoms uh, ongoing for a long, long time. And some of them are probably going to need ongoing help 
medically the, their whole lives. So we, anything you can do to avoid getting sick uh, from coronavirus or COVID is what you want to do. Now, uh, again, uh, this illness is not uh, going to be the zombie apocalypse that a lot of people were worried about. But on the other hand, it's a lot more serious than the flu. You know, if uh, the flu uh, has a 1% uh, complication rate, uh, this uh, probably has a 1.8, almost double the percentage of the flu, but still relatively rare. But you still want to avoid getting sick if you can, and you can do that uh, with a vaccination. That's a lot of information, actually, for anyone to digest, Norm, but I think everybody will at least get a good idea there. Also, I, I kind of hear that J&J, as much as it's become a problem, you know, in the bigger picture, it's been kind of a minor problem, and everyone shouldn't be afa- afraid of vaccinating now because we still have here two fabulous alternatives. Betty, I think that's a great point. And I think, the, uh, as those of you who have been following this in the newspaper know, uh, there's another product out in Europe, not yet in the United States, made by a company called AstraZeneca, uh, that is similar to the J&J product uh, in that uh, the technology involved uh, is using an adenovirus, which is a type of cold virus, and changing it a little bit in the laboratory to then allow it to protect you against the coronavirus. And these two vaccines are very similar. And the AstraZeneca has had some problems also. As a matter of fact, it's not being used in a number of countries. Um, and for, and some of the problems involved have been the sort of blood vessel clotting problems that have been involved with the very rarely, again, with the Johnson & Johnson product. So, But the Moderna and the Pfizer don't have these at all. And uh, they've been very, very safe and been monitored. And I don't know, we probably have uh, you know, close to um, 90 or 100 million people in this country that have already gotten at least one dose of this. So um, we've got some pretty good data on these. And these are very, very safe, effective vaccines, easily available, and there's more and more of them getting rolled out now. So we've gone from a period of time where we didn't have enough vaccine, but we had a lot of demand, to now where we pretty much have equivalency between the demand for the vaccine and the amount available. And in a month or two, I can tell you, we're going to have a a stockpile and oversupply of vaccines in this country, and we'll have to figure out how to send it to the parts of the world that that don't have it as available as we do. Absolutely. And your office in West Maui is doing vaccinations now at the new site right across from where your office is? We, we are. Uh, our doctor's on call uh, office in West Maui at Times Market in Hana Kauai, uh, at least a space right across the parking lot on the same property. And we do vaccine clinics there. And um, we actually are having one this Saturday. And uh, if there's anybody who uh, we're using the Moderna product uh, and um, it's open to people wanting to get either the first or the second shot. Uh, and they uh, can very easily sign up conveniently on our website, docmaui, D-O-C-M-A-U-I, dot com, and it'll take them to a link where they can choose a time and sign up. And, again, uh, any insurance uh, will cover this, uh, HMSA, HMAA, Kaiser, uh, even any of these, Medicare, and no charge to anybody who needs a vaccine. But that's true not only at our clinic, that's true at any clinic. Uh, all these vaccines are being supplied by the federal government, and then administered uh, by agencies or offices such as ours uh, at no charge to anybody in the public. Perfect. Quick question, Norm. What, what about the vaccine passport? A lot of um, talk about it, but no action that I can see. Uh, I think you're right, Roy. The, the, the idea of a vaccine passport is some sort of um, proof uh, that uh, somebody's been vaccinated that would allow them to get, get, get on an airplane, travel, get on a cruise ship, and go to a sporting event, whatever. Um, we're trying to roll one out here in Hawaii, and probably it'll get rolled out by the summer. Uh, well, I'm going to say for sure by the summer. Originally, we're going to tr- the governor wanted to have it uh, out by the beginning of May, but I think that was a little optimistic. Um, Ideally, it's going to be uh, something on an iPhone, something like a QR code uh, that can be shown at an airport, sort of like a QR code to use as a boarding pass. 
Um, the probability is that the one that gets developed in Hawaii will not be the same one that gets developed in the rest of the country or gets developed internationally. So uh, that's going to be one of the problems. How do you get all the different QR codes and all the different vaccine passports that somebody might need um, available on their own phone so uh, they can easily move around the world? And that's uh, a dilemma that's got to be resolved fairly quickly. It'll come, though. And again, just one one step at a time. Just baby steps will get so. us through this. I, I think so. I think most of us remember when we were younger, uh, we had uh, vaccine cards. There were these little yellow booklets, and uh, you had to have all the uh, vaccines you had, uh, especially if uh, you traveled internationally. You needed to have proof of uh, yellow fever vaccination. And uh, most of us kept that uh, in our passports. And we've gotten away from that now. And I think um, we're starting to realize that, you know, uh, these illnesses are contagious and uh, they spread around the world very quickly now with the advent of air travel. And uh, so we're going to have to document that we uh, were protected. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Well, look at now. It's already 1221 and 18 seconds. I added the 18 seconds for effect. Norm, thank you so, so much. I think that it's a lot of information, and somebody will be able to find it on our website soon because this does go on our website as something that you can watch what we're doing here. We do dance to Danny Couch, and I love Hawaii, or I do. Sometimes whoever's with me doesn't do it. But, Norm, thank you. I think what you've just done is such a great service, and what you're doing ongoing has been a major service to Maui. Oh, totally. Yeah, thanks for all you do for Maui, Norm. My pleasure. Thank you for helping to spread the word, and aloha. Talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Aloha. aloha. Bye. Well, do we want to do any well, real estate something? Yeah, we're, we're not exactly <laughs> <laughs> talking real estate here, but I think it's it's great for the community to, to get input from uh, Dr. Eston. Um, and, you know, um, again, this, this uh, Betty's Real Estate Corner is sponsored by Roy and Betty Sakamoto. Call us for all your real estate needs, whether you're buying, selling, uh, interested in refinancing, whatever. We can always help you, point you in the right direction. My number, 870-7060. Betty is 870-7062. Pretty easy to reach us or our website, sakamotoproperties.com, which has been amazingly successful because of Meyer Computer who happens to have somebody here right now filming this, so that we put it on our website. And it's been really fun, the number of people that have looked at something about, actually, restaurants. We were going to come up with a couple oh, of restaurants yeah. today. I forgot. Yeah. But, you Since know, we're so, off, off of real estate anyway. Yeah, real yeah, estate. So. We're running out of inventory, so we're going to do <laughs> restaurants. Yeah. I'm going to start with Honu. Oh, yeah. Spectacular. I mean, I think that's the best of the best, and they're doing – everything they can to keep everything going. And it's hard when you see the number of tables in there compared to what it was. Honu in Lahaina. Good friend of ours, Mark Elman, uh, owns Honu and Frida's. And uh, your favorite is at Honu's. My ah favorite. Ahi bruschetta. Ahi bruschetta. It's my most favorite thing. I could eat it almost any time. And I'm a little, little bit of a food something. <laughs> I was going to say Very a food fussy. snob, but it's not a food snob yeah. exactly. It's just I'm so simple. Peanut butter and jelly works for me almost any time. But the ahi bruschetta, I just love it. It's healthy. They have so many really great things in there. The, it's a pretty uh, diversified menu. Yeah. It is. And then the other one, the other restaurant, which is kind of Mexican almost yeah, or, or a little Spanish flair Latin right. But everything in there, you can get almost anything that you would want from your very favorite Mexican restaurant. And it's really great with the best quality of everything in it. Oceanfront locations for both of these in Lahaina. And they've um, spread out nicely so that you, you're separated. You're on the ocean. You're listening to the waves. You can see little turtles popping their heads up to watch you. Yeah. It's the best. Just ocean side of the Lahaina Cannery Mall where Safeway and Longs are. Mm -hmm. And then out at our office, right next to our office, the Poor House, as in P-O-U-R, not P-O-O-R. <laughs> but it is. Great restaurant, Italian. They serve lunch and dinner. And they don't have that many tables because of they haven't been able to 
put enough inside at this point, so they're trying to spread out in the outside. But again, for lunch, for dinner, uh, and I know recently they actually had a trouble with takeout because there was so much takeout that it made it impossible to cook, you know, for the restaurant. You know, they were trying to, so I think they had to curtail some of their um, some of their to-go items. Yeah, great food. Uh, they're located right next to our Cobol Banker office at 700 Office Road in Kapalua, and uh, adjacent to that is Sanse. Sanse, and then. The florist, the Napili florist. You can get anything Kapalua you need. Florist. The oops, that's right. At one time it was, I think. Yeah. Oh, but Kapalua florist. I screwed up again there. Yeah. Not good. And then what about Joey's, which is in Napili? Joey's. It's in the Napili Plaza Shopping Center. Joey's Kitchen, local food, uh, kind of Filipino style kind food. Except they do have, for any kids or for me, they do have a cheeseburger. They have French fries, and they're really great. They serve breakfast, which is really good, and he starts pretty early for breakfast. If you're looking for breakfast in West Maui, the only place to really find something early is to go to one of the hotels, the Montage, the Ritz-Carlton. But it's hard to find Napili a nice Kai. early. Napili Kai, very, yeah. very sea good. House, yeah. The Sea House at Napili Kai. But West Maui is a funny one. So, again, now we are really getting closer. <laughs> if you want to come <laughs> up with any real estate t- tidbit, well, yeah. I Kapalua. Mean, call us for Kapalua. Well, call us for anything in, in Maui, uh, 870-7060 for Roy, 870-7062 for Betty. And we'll be available for and, you. And what a great time to buy. Um, interest rates are low. You, you should hurry up, really. Inventory is getting to be an all-time low. And uh, we've got... Almost 900 escrows in on Maui right now, which is fantastic. But unheard of. I've uh, never seen a market mm-hmm. like this. Like it, it, at most times, there would have been 500 plus or minus escrows at any given time. Yeah, that was a good indication of a fairly stable market. So and we are to going be through almost that. Almost 900 now mm-hmm. is uh, wow. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary. Yeah, and that, it is hard for for anybody looking to buy, you know, first time home buyer. But there are possibilities still, and there's good programs still available for someone, you know, depending on what you do and everything that's going on in your life. There's military loans still available. There's, uh, yeah, people get scared sometimes. They look, and the median price on Maui is uh, for a house is almost a million dollars or something, and it scares the heck out of people. But a median means that half the prices on Maui sold for less than that, half the the homes sold for more than that. So it doesn't mean that's your average. Um, A lot of homes are still priced, are very affordable. So again, call us, 870-7060 for Roy, 870-7062 for Betty. And remember that the interest rate on your loan makes a major difference. So let's say you were going to buy a house before that you thought was more like 600000 or 500000 but the interest rate was 5 to 7%. And we remember times when it was worse than that. So for our last minute, we're just going to say the interest rate matters. You can still think about it. Hook up with one of us and let us try to get you through the process and if you can't do it now, we'll get you into it later. Absolutely. Here's Everyone's Danny Couch for, again. Oh, there he goes. And I love Hawaii. We all do. We all do. Aloha. Aloha.